Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bossa Donato, a song that I play since uh, 20 years or something. And uh, when YouTube came up, this was, I think, the first song that somebody uh, uploaded, a version that I played at the Chad Atkins Festival in, in Nashville. And after the time, everything changed. I got rich. <laughs> you know, I got famous. So. <laughs> The only thing that I did after that was just being a grandpa and playing my guitar, you know. <laughs> and the good thing is also that I, since that time I could really choose where I want to play. And I, yeah, and Montague was on the list. You know. It was just was on the list. We could have played today definitely in Düsseldorf, but we said <laughs> we played already like thousands of times. Let's go to Montague and show them what the people in Düsseldorf missed tonight. <laughs> so we have two more songs for you, and uh, but I hope really, I hope really that there will be an encore because. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> because then we invite maybe some people on stage but we play just two more as a trio and the next one is a song by a great composer a song that i wrote years, years, years back it's 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 an homage to the great master jungle reinhardt and i was just at the big jersey guitar jungle guitar camp frank Mignola was doing it i was one of the instructors john jorgens a lot of great people were there and Often people ask me the last 20 years, who is the best guitar player in the world? And I always, it's always the, it's like a stupid question, there's not the best guitar player in the world. I just saw a picture there, oh, so B.B. King is you know, in, on this picture. He's, to me, one of the greatest guitar players of all times. Then there is Chuck Berry. I came back when Chuck Berry died. I came back from a gig, and there was like a, a show where Chuck Berry was playing in the 70s at the BBC studio. And I just, I just thought, you know, everybody was like, oh, Chuck Berry, that was really simple stuff. I watched him and I, was, and I thought, I could never play like him, how he did rock and roll music. You know what I mean? There are so great players, but if I really <coughs> needed to pick one guy where I would say he influenced the whole world, then I think it's the great Django Reinhardt. So I just thought, homage to him is just fair. So that's the thing.
Okay, once again, so we're playing now the last song. Thanks again to Steve Plummer and First Coast Wayne. Thank you for putting this together. Thanks that we can play your wonderful venue for putting this great concert up. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming out to listen to us. And um, yeah, before we continue with the last song, um, I think there are subsidies left. A few, just a few, just a few, so be quick because they're really they're really expensive if you import them directly from germany we just smuggled them and that, that's the reason they're so cheap that's 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 the thing so before we play the last song once again on double bass for you, you this andre henry thank you very much for thank you. Thank you. And of course, from Germany, the great Sven Jungberg on guitar. <laughs> Give it up for my wife from Germany, Ramona. <laughs> she loves it. <laughs> and also from Deutsche Gladbach, Joshua Stefan. Thank you very much. Thanks. So the last song that we play, and we talked about uh, already about great guitar players, and you know, um, what I think is also.
when I see the gypsies playing music, it's still very alive. Django Reinhardt um, died already like 70 years ago, and you know, his music is, is a niche music, but in that niche, very popular. I remember when I started playing that stuff, mid 90s, most of the jazz clubs were a bit like arrogant and oh, this is not really jazz, not really this, not really that. You can play what the people do, like New Orleans jazz, stuff like this. When we played then, let's say at the New Orleans festival, they were all like, oh, this is kind of modern music that you're doing. I said, yeah, because New Orleans started in the 20s and Django in the 30s, of course, you know? <laughs> and the jazz clubs, they had the, like the same, no, this is very traditional. I said, yeah, all stuff started in the 30s, yours started in the 40s. And yeah. yeah, that was, <laughs> a bit was what was going on. And so I just see now that in every jazz club, in every, every cultural club, every art center, everywhere, a lot of gypsy swing is available because people love it. And that's the great thing about this kind of music. I think Django made it happen that 